So we're here with Jeff Wilson from Glock Triggers. He was kind enough to fly in from Colorado just to talk to us today from his master headquarters. Um, I just wanted to ask a couple questions here. So why Glock Triggers? Well, um, I started to compete with a Glock probably 10 or 12 years ago. Um, and I've got a really small hand. And, and when we started, I based the products around competition. And I had to overcome the trigger reach issue that I had on the Gen 3 Glock pistol. Uh, the Gen 4s weren't out at that time. Um, they came out about a year later. Um, but that was our first product, was the Edge uh, competition trigger. Uh, and it sort of evolved as time went on. And uh, we arrived at a place where um, we decided the OEM parts that Glock made were the right parts for the Glock trigger, but they weren't refined enough. So basically, we took that to the next level and custom enhanced the triggers and uh, went into business uh, in 2010. So let's get back to this reach issue. When you say reach, you mean your finger wasn't long enough to get all the way around the trigger to press back on the, that is correct. the safety, the trigger safety? At the time we started, the Glock trigger with trigger bar um, had uh, a trigger safety that would drop forward with gravity. So when I came out of the holster to present, uh, and break a shot on target, uh, I had trouble actually defeating the trigger safety because I had such a short finger. So we actually removed some of the pre-travel from the stock trigger and that was our first product. So when you say remove the pre-travel, you mean if, I, if I were looking at the trigger sitting out there like that, it's back a little bit farther. Is it's that correct? slightly okay. back, correct. Now that's just for certain models though, is, yeah. is that right? Correct. So what model would you not do that on, for instance, and why wouldn't you do that on every model? Well, in competition there are different uh, modifications that are allowed in different divisions. Um, for example, USPSA production division has different rules and standards than uh, IDPA SSP division. Um, and GSSF, there again, is another shooting sport, uh, Glock Shooting Sports Foundation, that has different regulations for the trigger. So we have two basic different triggers for competition and for carry uh, slash carry. Now would they have different, uh, I don't know what you call poundage or whatever, would they have different Correct. tensions on the trigger? The, the most shooters like a lighter trigger for competition. Okay. Um, and our triggers start at around three pounds on the edge and the bubble, which is our two competition triggers. Um, and we add additional springs to let the shooter adjust to a, a, a trigger press weight that is comfortable for them and they can get the best results with it. But that's, that's for competition though? That is for competition. So for duty you wouldn't necessarily have something they could adjust? That is correct. And, and actually the only thing that's adjustable is an over travel stop on the competition model. The uh, carry models are all 100% OEM parts that we have custom enhanced. Um, to perform. Okay. So, when we talk about a trigger being light, um, have you run into the liability question of that trigger is too light to carry? Because the funny thing is, uh, Jeff and I were shooting and we took out, what was it, the Walther PPQ? We took out a couple of guns and I'll tell you, Jeff's lightest trigger was similar to some of the lightest triggers we felt on the market. So I, I can't really buy into that whole liability conversation. Well, it's, you know, um, it varies from place to place. Um, I, I would say um, we, we're comfortable around three pounds, three pounds for a competition trigger. Okay. Um, our carry triggers will at least hold five to five and a half. Um, so, so would you say just if you were worried about the liability conversation that A, you've got uh, original factory equipment in the gun and if you're carrying a duty or carry trigger that you really haven't messed with the, I mean it's not a super sensitive trigger, it's a, it's a duty trigger. That is correct. So that would probably be a better choice if you're not competing. That is correct. Okay. So I've got longer fingers, why would I want a Glock trigger? Well, basically, when um, the factory trigger is 
we know is reliable. Mm -hmm. um, but most people complain uh, on an out-of-the-box stock trigger, very gritty, very long pre-travel, um, and what we do is smooth all that out and enhance the trigger so it functions better. We're trying to uh, have you not produce muzzle movement when you break a shot. The least muzzle movement, the better. So we basically, you've taken what Glock does really well and made it better. That's correct. Without modifying their original designs. That's correct. We do uh, we do uh, reshape some of the uh, parts, okay. uh, but the parts are already uh, the correct dimensions to function properly. So we're not trying to. Um, get rid of the reliability. That's what we want. That's what we like. But we're we're enhancing and making the product um, better for the operator. So, how long did it take you to figure all this out? I mean, did you just like wake up one day and start grinding things and put it on the market, or <laughs> what? What happened? Well, several thousand dollars, and a few years later probably when we went to market after we figured out that all the aftermarket parts we tried really gave us different results, a lot of results that we didn't care for. Um, so before we went to market, we had decided that OEM was really uh, the best for reliability. Um, but there was a long R&D and experimentation period that was very expensive. And the reason I smile is because Jeff used to be uh, living here, lived about, what, a mile and a half away. And he was in here testing this stuff exhaustively. And you may not know this, but if you talk about detail-oriented, this gentleman's it. So, in essence, we carry the Glock trigger here. You can also get them on clocktriggers.com. Um, if you're in our area, we appreciate you picking them up because we can help you out here. Uh, we believe in the product. I carry it in my guns as well, in my Glocks. And you're also working on something for the 42, right? That's, we have something for the 42 in, work, in the works, and we also have a new trigger system uh, that's going to be endorsed by Ken Hackathorn, uh, the Ken Hackathorn Tactical Trigger System. That's cool. Yeah. All right. Well, it's good seeing you. Good to see you. Barry out.